Hey guys, Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on the Riffraff server. Today, we are back over at Chris's village thingy. Um, and he's actually cleaned up from the prank from last episode, so that's a plus. Although, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave him a few carrots, you know. Just to help him regrow his farm, because it seems like he forgot to replant it. Um, so, <coughs> excuse that cough, I'm sorry, I just woke up, I slept all day. So, he made these buildings. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last building, but he or in the last building. In the last episode, he made these buildings, and he's currently leasing them out to uh, whoever has a stack of stone bricks. And I leased two out, this one and the one at the end of the street. No idea what I'm going to do with that one. Um, this is the only one I have any inspiration for. But uh, I have an idea of what it's going to be. Uh, right here is um, actually going to be... Reese's, I think, a potato shop. I'm not completely sure what he decided he was going to do with it, but I think it's a potato shop. Um, but right here, I figured um, the server could use a potion shop of some sort. Because originally I was going to sell potions in my bookstore, but considering my bookstore is kind of on hiatus until we fight the dragon, not getting any use out of it. So, I figured we might as well build a potion shop over here. It's out of the way, but people visit Chris's village quite a bit, so I figured it's in pretty prime place to do it. Plus, it gives me something to do with this building. Um, I'm naming it the Jasmine Dragon. If you watch Avatar The Last Airbender at all, you'll know what that is. It's the tea shop that Uncle Iroh and Zuko started in the um, in Ba Sing Se when uh, he retired there after the Hundred Year War. Um, I think he might have. Uh, I think he might have started it before the war ended, but. The, Regardless, this is the tea shop that um, Uncle I or Uncle Iroh ran, and uh, let me just throw this. That's not what I'm throwing. Uh, this is what I'm throwing. Uh, did somebody rent this place? Why is there shelves? Oh well, we'll figure it out. But yeah, uh, I named it the Jasmine Dragon, and I kind of um, tried to decorate it as much as sort of like. I don't really know what I tried to decorate it as. It kind of looks like a stable, to be honest, but I really like this building. It's really nice looking. And then I did this little thing with workbenches around, um, along with slabs, because if you look from the outside, like they connect from the bottom, so it looks kind of cool. And since this is supposed to be the Jasmine Dragon, I made the, um, the carpet Earth Kingdom colors to match along with what this was originally based off of. Now, the whole point of this is to sell, since there obviously there isn't tea in Minecraft, obviously. But there's potions and mushrooms too. I'm going to kill this baby zombie. Where's he at? Um, but obviously there are no, uh, there's no tea in Minecraft or, um, yeah, there's just no tea. So I figure the closest I'm going to get is like mushroom stew and, um, potions. Completely unrelated things, but I don't know. When I think of tea in Minecraft, those are the only two things that come to my head. I've already made all of these into awkward potions. Uh, I went to the nether and got a bunch of blaze rods to make brewing stands and uh, I think I'm going to be doing the, like, let me look on the website real quick. The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The 7 main good potions. Um, if you'd follow me to my employee room down here, which is uh, just my little nether wart farm slash um, holding area for materials. This is where I'm going to be getting everything from. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to make... Potions of Regen, Fire Resistance, Strength, Swiftness, Water Breathing, Night Vision, and Invisibility. Um, if you'd like to strengthen them, you can do that with your own materials, or I can do it for you, but it's going to be an extra charge, you know? Um, but otherwise, they're just going to be the base potions. Um, I might extend them in time, which would completely ruin the effect, so never mind, I'm not going to extend them in time. Um, but, yeah, so... I'm just going to do some brewing and stuff today and possible like resource gathering depending on what I still need. I uh, went out and got a bunch of stuff before this. I ignore that. I went and got a bunch of stuff before this for potions. <sighs> and I think I'm ready to start brewing. So hold on. Let me get up here and kill, kill this jamber. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, you're not burning because you're in armor. Aren't you a fancy little bugger? Please die. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so, brewing. Uh, I guess I'm just going to get started on that. All of them are awkward potions already. So, that's one step out of the way. I'd make healing potions, but I don't want to go through the trouble of making glistering melons because nobody on the server has melons yet. Um, so I figured 
There is no point in stressing over not having materials. Um, what do I need? Well, everything, really. But uh, let me just grab all of these. <laughs> uh, actually, it occurred to me, probably need some water. You know, I'm next to a river. That will be what it is. I swear to God, is there another baby zombie? Really? Really? Why? Why do you guys insist on playing in the river? I hope you drown. <laughs> like, this is really annoying for you guys to continuously go in the background. Like, I'm trying to talk, and I'm already having difficulty talking enough because I'm tired. Um, as you can tell by the yawning, and it's extremely unprofessional, but oh well. Um, so yeah, let's just start brewing, shall we? Okay, so. Um actually have a couple things to talk about today. I don't know if I'm going to get to both of them, but let's just start out with the more interesting of the two. It's uh, so happy that Comic-Con has come and went. Well, not come and went, but Comic-Con just happened over the weekend, and I was really excited about that because Comic-Con is one of the things I look forward to all year because I'm a huge nerd, and that's where I get updates on everything that I care about in life, and um, because of that, it's really nice to... Uh, um, hear about things that I care about. So, things that I care about, notably, uh, Legend of Korra, uh, as you know from the fact that I built a pro bending arena, and also the fact that I did an entire episode building that and talking about the first three episodes of Korra, um, they made the decision to stop airing Legend of Korra on TV, and the rest of the show will be uploaded every week to Nick.com, and you can watch it on the website. Not a big fan of this choice, to be perfectly honest. Um, I understand why they did it. I don't agree, because um, I guess a bunch of people were watching it online illegally anyways, so they just felt there was no point to... Uh, and the ratings were getting bad because people were watching it online, so I guess they didn't feel the need to... Um... um the need to continue airing it on air, which is really annoying because, yeah, I'm still going to get to watch the show and everything. That's that's cool, you know, but it's kind of defeats the point of a show for me. Like, when I, wa I watched Breaking Bad late, um, I watched Breaking Bad right before it ended, so I streamed 90% of it on Netflix, and it's nice because you can just marathon it, but it kind of ruins the enjoyment for me because I really enjoy the aspect of... Um, uh, the aspect, uh, like, waiting a week. Yeah, it's annoying, and streaming is more convenient, and you get to finish things quicker, but the quicker they finish, the longer you have to wait for more product. Not to mention, I love the feeling of sitting down and watching an episode or two episodes, and then waiting a week, having to contemplate and, like, consider and think about what happened the last week before, and, um, I don't know, I just feel so... It, it kind of loses weight if I can watch it online. I don't know. I'm kind of... I may be dumb for it. It's just I prefer to watch it old-fashioned. It's kind of like if The Walking Dead started streaming their web er, episodes, I'd be really, really disappointed because that's one of the highlights of my week when it is on air. And it would be really, really annoying. Um, but other than that, that show is still going on, and I'm excited that it hasn't been canceled. Um, what else happened? Oh, yeah, they showed a teaser for Batman vs. Superman, which looked awesome. Um, I hate Comic-Con, mainly because they show teasers, and then they'll tell people not to show other people. Like, they'll show teasers for movies, and only the people in Hall H or Comic-Con will see these teasers. Some, some teasers, um, get leaked, or, or get released by the companies and whatever, but otherwise, nobody sees it. Sometimes they don't even release those teasers, and they just make new ones for the public, like, months down the road. And uh, it's really irritating, but I'm happy because somebody recorded and leaked, or a couple of people recorded and leaked the Batman vs. Superman trailer, which looked really, really cool. Batman looks awesome. He was wearing, like, the Dark Knight Return suit and, the, like, the power armor, and it was awesome. And Superman had his all red laser eyes, and he was all angry. And, oh, it just, it screamed, like, oh, my God, I can't wait for this to happen. I'm not even the biggest, like, Batman and Superman fan. I'm much more of a Marvel guy. But that was insane, and it was really, really cool looking. Um, what else happened? Oh yeah, the Avengers Age of Ultron teaser came out, and we can't see it, because Kevin Feige doesn't think we should. Yay, that makes me happy. 
Not really. Um, I'm genuinely frustrated that they're doing that with the Avengers of all things, because, I, like I said right before, I'm much more of a Marvel guy, and I want to see that trailer. Like, there is nothing that I am looking forward to more than seeing the Avengers teaser when it came out, especially because, like, I could understand if they didn't tell anybody about it, right? But, for, like, a couple weeks now, they've been going on about, like, teasers and stuff about this movie that's coming out in a year, and, um, hold on, I'm gonna, oh no, he's stuck up there, come down please, I miss you, thank you, um, but it's really annoying because, like, I guess the guy that's in charge isn't gonna show it for, like, several months, and it's really, really irritating. My dog is really annoying. Because of her, I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I had to let my dog out. I'm currently home alone, and it chose to stay in my room, and then it got antsy and wanted to leave, so. My dog is a terrible human being, um, even though she's not a human being, but she's a terrible individual all the same. Um, not really. She's actually a really sweet dog, and I'm glad that I have her. She's just really annoying from time to time. Um, let's, let's get you more potions brewing. Uh, it's kind of a boring episode, actually. I know it's just potion brewing, but sometimes you gotta do some grindy stuff on camera to, um, just alleviate the work you do later on. Is this strength? It's strength. It's night vision, so a golden carrot. I don't have a golden carrot. Let's make some more golden carrots. All right. So, yeah, Age of Ultron. I haven't showed the teaser to anybody else except for... Oh, hello, Ethan. You can, uh... Unbreaking 3 book. He uh, wanted to buy an Unbreaking 3 book from me, which I just went and got um, from the bookstore. Um, but the bookstore's not open, like I said at the beginning of this episode, it won't be open until after, um, the dragon fight. So I figured I'd just go get him a book and I'd sell him an early thing. But, yeah, and it's really annoying that they're not releasing that trailer, because it looks so good. And, like, news people have, um, like, recounted what the episode did, or what the teaser had in it, and it looks so good, or it sounds so good, and I want to see it really badly. Um, so yeah. Jeez, dog's barking again. Well, <laughs> I'm going to finish brewing these potions. Um, I want to get uh, all these chests filled up. Um, and after all the chests are filled up with um, potions, um, I'm going to move on to making some mushroom stew and then putting the pricing around. So, I will, uh, I'll come back to you when all the potion brewing is done. So, I'll uh, see you in a second. Alright, I'm back. Uh, didn't get the chest quite filled up. Um, mainly because uh, I realized it takes a lot of materials to make potions. So, let me uh, just empty out the brewing stands as they are really quickly. Um, and then we're going to go on a, a mini adventure. We are going to go search for more potion making materials. Specifically magma cream. Um, uh, gassed tears. Uh, so magma cream, gassed tears... Blaze powder I can do later on. That's not a problem. That's actually relatively easy to get because blazes are a piece of cake. Um, so basically, magma cream and um, gas tears. I stopped production of water breathing potions temporarily just because water breathing potions take puffer fish, and uh, puffer fish are relatively kind of hard to get unless I have a good fishing pole, which I am going to do some massive enchanting to get a really good fishing pole, hopefully. Um, but since we're going on a little mini-adventure, I figured I'd talk to you guys about the uh, other little topic I wanted to mention, which is sort of the state of the schedule of my channel. Um, for the last, I don't know, maybe month, I think, I've been doing really, really well with, um, with a consistent schedule. Um, well, with my main two series, which is DCU and uh, Riff Raff, that is. Um, I know I posted last week's Riff Raff a little bit late. I posted it a couple days late on Sunday, just because I was so busy over the weekend, I just didn't have time, but, um, other than that one sort of snafu, I've done relatively really well with, um, posting of videos, but, um, unfortunately, I started posting Windcraft as well, which is a really fun thing to do, and I'm glad that I started it, but unfortunately, Chris's enjoyment of Windcraft has started to waver, so he says, and, uh, we have not, we have yet to, uh, get into another game of it. So, or at least another play session where we can record. So, um, 
Windcraft was Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I have no idea what I'm going to do then. Um, thinking about possibly uh, replacing it temporarily with uh, The Binding of Isaac. Um, because that was really, really fun when I played it, and I really, really enjoy that game. And the feedback from it was pretty good, to be honest, too, compared to my normal videos. Um, where are guests typically? Do I have my hostile mob noises? I think I do. Uh, music and challenge. Okay, so, I'll be able to hear guests. It's just a matter of finding them. Huh. Um, okay then. Let's just try to... Do our best. Well, not lag, first of all. Alright, I'm back. Uh, yeah, this episode is just full of interruptions. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I got called away from my, uh, recording, and now I'm eating some fried rice. So, it's kind of a give and take. Um, ooh, gas noise, okay. But as I was saying, the, uh, state of my channel... Um, Riff Raft is going to stay every Monday and Friday like it is. DCU is staying Wednesday, but I'm also uploading it on Sunday now. Um, come on. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. I don't want to do that there because it's full of fire. Yes! It dropped one, I think. Yes! Okay, guest here. Sweet! Um, but uh, I'm also going to post DCU every Sunday as well, so, um, now every Wednesday and, uh, Sunday is gonna go up. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, um, Tuesday and Thursday, like I mentioned before, it might be Isaac, it might not. Um, so basically the schedule as it is now, um, Riff Raft on Monday, Tuesday, Undecided, Wednesday DCU, Thursday Undecided, Friday Riff Raft, Saturday is a wild card where I pretty much upload the random videos that I make here and there that... Don't really have a specific day or schedule time behind them. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to determine what I should do in the Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I have no idea. I'm thinking actually about doing a, um, like a full, like, long, not long running, but like a full game Let's Play. Um, and that's not the Tuesday and Thursday. I'm thinking about possibly doing that, um, Monday through Saturday, so like uploading one episode every day along with the videos that I already have going up those days. Um, I'm not sure. I really like that idea. I'm just trying to figure out what game I should do. Um, I really want to play the Batman games, but I have no access to them at the moment. Um, well, I could get them on the Xbox, but I can't record Xbox gameplay, unfortunately. So, there's that. Um, but aside from that... Uh, possibly Bioshock Infinite? I know that's really, really old now, uh, and it's kind of a pointless game to do a Let's Play on, considering its age. Um, but I've never played it, never watched through, so I'm completely newbie at it. Um, I'm just running around pointlessly. Uh, let's run over here for guests. Let's, let's just do that. Um, I don't know, maybe that's a possibility? Um, if you actually watch this and watch it this far through, I appreciate it, and, uh, possibly leave some suggestions in the comments. I'd really appreciate... Um, suggestions of what game I should play, um, because I really need them. Okay, where's this cast at? I want to, uh, I want to get one more guest here before the episode's over. Okay, that hit me directly in the face. Oh, two guests! Two guests! Okay! This might end badly. This is not going well. Shoot that back as fast as it can. Uh, okay, one down. One down. Clear out all this fire. Where you at? You big sack of gas. Uh, you big old gas hole. Uh, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get down there. Um, oh, that's not good at all. No. No. Oh, thank God for feather falling. Yes. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, die! Just die! Die hard, please! Oh, Bruce Willis! Um. Yes, guest here, yes. Okay, good, sweet, yes. Oh, my heart is beating! That was so scary! Oh, man! Oh, that was so terrifying! And another guest? Yes, another guest here, sweet! I. That was totally worth that! Oh, man, that is, at least that's a really cool way to end the episode. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you can come back every Monday and Friday. I try to post these then. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every view that comes along. And, uh, whew, that was, uh, all right. I will, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.